Softball 360 is brought to you by East Coast Athletics, TPS, by Mike and Sports, and by the Worth Launch 650 Softball. Welcome back to Softball 360. Earlier in the show, Chris Larson got rained out, so we had to make up those swings, and now the rest of the guys are going to join him out on the field in Washington, D.C. It's time for the big show, Batter Up. Each bomber gets 15 swings and is awarded one point for each home run. The last pitch is the money ball that is worth two points. The top team is awarded the Manufacturer's Cup. The bomber with the most home runs is crowned season champion. A sweltering Sunday afternoon greets the long haul bombers in DC. Game conditions are steamy at best. Kind of muggy, it's like 99 million degrees out there. It doesn't vote well for fatter kids. Leading off for Team East Coast Athletics is Big John Gilmore. Standing six foot six, John's long frame helps drive the ball deep into the yard. It's simple physics, folks. And when Big John gets unhinged and pulls the ball hard to right, look out. Despite the big blast, John had a day that perhaps can be best described as quality, but not quantity, ending up with three points. Team Worth's B.J. Falk continues to prove that B.J. is back in a big way. B.J.'s torn oblique muscle responded well to rehab, and B.J.'s on the road to home run town. And upper deck bound. Nice blast, Billy Joe. B.J. is on the hunt to make the finals, scoring seven points today. I mean, it was going decent. Uh... It wasn't as flying as well as normal, but hey, no excuses. I should have got my money bought, would have gave me nine, so I guess I'll have to live with my seven. The returning champ on the Stadium Power Tour, Chris Larson, steps up. Chris knows he has to make up points to keep himself and Team D Marini in the chase for the championship. Perhaps Chris is pressing, just trying too hard. The pressure cooker to perform, along with the soaring heat, is taking a toll. Not his best day at the plate. Chris settles for six points. I don't know what it was. I thought I hit some good, they just didn't go. That's just the way it falls sometimes. Up next, Larson's DeMarini teammate, Kevin Philby. Kevin answers questions about rookie jitters quickly and to the point. Kevin sends his replies to the upper deck of Nationals Park. Oh, God, baby, God. And for the fan in right field, nice catch. Philby, it seems, cannot be stopped. And today, he's on a home run hit mission. One after another. And on the money ball, he beats the bank and ends his shift with nine points. I went back to my bread and butter, what got me here, and you know, going to right center and going aggressive. And uh, seemed to work out a lot better. I hit, you know, three or four balls way deep in the upper deck. So uh, I think I'm gonna live there the rest of the year. Who can top Philby? Perhaps this man, Greg Cannell, batting for teamwork. Greg steps up and goes deep early. Connie has a fast, quick swing that defines efficiency and explosiveness. Check out these crushing blasts into the center field plaza. Almost out of the park and into the White House. Connie is quickly gaining on Philby and has eight points going into the money ball. He can win it all with this swing. Oh, but not today. Connie comes up just short. And that means the victory goes to rookie Kevin Philby. Here are your final standings from Nationals Ballpark. How about that? A rookie taking it all today. Kevin Philby, congratulations to you. Greg Cannell, not too far behind. This is really putting the pressure on for Cincinnati. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Join us next week, and in the meantime, check out softball360.com. I'm Natalie Kane. Thanks for watching. 
next week on Softball 360. Meet the unofficial mayor of Cincinnati. We're talking about Brian, the ball will be flying Wegman. Wegs will share a slice of Cincy, and you'll see why he's proud to call it home. Later, Wegs and his Easton teammate, Brett the Hitman Helmer, help light up the night sky at Great American Ballpark. Next week on Softball 360.